Nearly burnt myself. Hi. This episode will be fantastic because we're building a new damper bridge and in the end I will let you know what my plans are for the next project. Before the supercharger was installed, this was the piece which hold the shocks. But since the supercharger um, got way too big in the front, I needed to cut everything off uh, the frame and right now we need to build something new. So all this isn't the most precise way. You see that I am mostly eyeballing um, those corners like this. I think it's okay for, for a part like, like this bridge not to do this in CNC and um, after everything is, is powder coated or painted it uh, will look pretty nice. Getting pretty tight underneath uh, the supercharger, but it's going to work, I think. Yeah, to make everything removable, I'm using these um, laser cut um, brackets. I guess they are available on eBay worldwide and they are very helpful. And um, yeah, it's very time saving. Imagine to cut this by hand or um, yeah, drill all holes, this will take forever.
crap. I think an engineer would have told me before that it's not possible to remove <laughs> this crossbar uh, without taking uh, the dampers out, but yeah, it is how it is. So while I'm waiting for the uh, paint to, uh, to dry out in the oven, I would like to tell you about the new project. Uh, this thing is hopefully um, close to be finished. It's, it's going to be on the dyno within the next one or two weeks, hopefully. Afterwards, I got a lot of plans what to do with this, where to drive, um, what kind of cars I'm going to challenge um, on, the, on the eighth mile or whatever. So there are a lot of, of crazy plans for this one. But of course, during this build, I always uh, had new ideas. And a couple of months ago, I saw a really huge monster truck. It's an RC monster truck. Um, going to link um, the, the monster truck in the description. Oh no, or maybe I'm, I'm going to show you a, a picture. So this one is, I think, currently one of the biggest monster trucks um, in the RC world, but it's in my eyes, it's it's not big enough. So I would like to use the experience I got uh, while building this one for the next project, and I would like to build a completely over-the-top monster truck. This is one of the tires I plan on using. So the the um, body is in the works right now. I'm not saying what, what kind of body uh, it will be, but it's going to be crazy. I already have the engine, I'm not, I'm not showing it yet, um, and of course it's going to be supercharged again. And my plan is to make like horsepower. This thing will be um, about 1.8 meters long. I will just um, show you how much this is in inches. I'm already collecting parts and as soon as I have um, a, lot, a lot of stuff together, I will start of course to show um, the complete build process. Um, I'm going to show the complete um, frame, I'm going to show every kind of suspension parts. The whole engine will be shown in all details. Hopefully, hopefully uh, you, you like this idea, um, leave me a comment. If you have an idea what, uh, what kind of body I'm going to use, um, I, I really fell in love with that one a couple of months ago. And uh, as soon as I saw the body, I knew that uh, I had to build a monster truck. To be completely honest, um, at the beginning of this video I wasn't sure if I wanted to show building parts like this because um, I'm more the CNC machining guy, so I, I, I'm not a welder, I'm not um, very good at welding, no, that's that's uh, not even enough. I'm, I'm bad at welding, so parts like this are really painful for me to do because my welding skills are so bad. But of course, parts like this need to be done and um, there's no other chance than to just um, hold the parts in place, uh, um, weld them and uh, finish them afterwards. Let's assemble this one. Peace 
are some titanium nuts we machined in house. Going to use them on all wheels. That was the worst idea ever. And it even blew the muffler apart. The ref limiter was, ref limiter was only set to 5000 instead of 9000, which uh, this, the engine is capable of. Yeah, temperatures are completely perfect. Um, the the uh, fans and oil cooler didn't even came on. So that's. A nice foundation for the upcoming dyno tuning.